lovely sunny day, a bit windy, but sunny is nice. Um, there's another YouTube user called Blueprint DK. He's asked me if I can do a video on getting the Logitech Harmony to, to start up Netflix. Um, so I'm going to be doing that today. So to get Netflix uh, playing through my TV through the through an echo command, what I need to do is teach Harmony how to turn on my Xbox, turn on my TV, and then do all of the the kind of controller input that I would do manually myself. Um, so first thing I've got to do is actually figure out um, what I would press manually to get Netflix up on my Xbox. So I've got my Xbox on and this is the screen it boots to. Um, so from here, what I need to do to start with is make sure I sign in. So I'd go left, right, sign in. And obviously I'd have to put a delay on here. Uh, then I'd have to go and find Netflix. So the best place to do this would be to go to my game and apps. Load that up, now I'd have to press left, go to apps, and then over to Netflix and press A. So that's what I need to do on my Harmony command. Um, I've decided I'm going to get my Xbox to automatically sign me in because that's going to make this easier. So if we go settings, uh, sign in, click on me. Alright, so instant sign in, press on A, use instant sign in. So as soon as my Xbox starts up, it should sign in my profile straight away. Yeah, bro, now that's done, it's automatically signed me in, which is going to make this whole thing a million times easier. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Logitech Harmony desktop application uh, to show you how to set this up. So as it, when it loads up, it'll come into home. You click on activities and then I'm going to do it on this activity that I've started here. Uh, let's customize this activity. And I've already had a play at this and I'm just going to delete the things I've already done just to make sure I'm starting from a blank sheet of paper. Okay, so at the minute all I've got is my Harmony is going to turn on my TV uh, it's going to turn on my Xbox One and then it's going to set my TV input to HDMI 2. So the next step for me is to put in the commands that I'm going to be using, or well, what I would be using on my Xbox controller. Um, first thing I want to do um, is just add a one second delay in just to give my Xbox time to boot up. In fact, let's make that two seconds. Um, and then I'm going to add another step. So click on add step. Select the device you want to use, uh, it's Xbox One, select an action, it's going to be a command, and the first command is right, direction right, so let's come down, direction right, okay, then it's the same again, so select device, Xbox One, command, and this time I'm going to be pressing the A button. So, oops, A button. Okay, add another step. Select a device, Xbox One. It's a command again. My mouse is playing up. Then I'm going to be selecting direction up. Add a step and we keep going until we get there. So, Xbox One, command, after direction up, I'm going right again. 
add a step, select a device, Xbox One, command, and this time I'm pressing the A button once more. Add a step in there, Xbox One, command. Now, this is where I should be in the actual Netflix screen at this point. Um, so when I get to here, I want to be pressing left f at least four times, so direction left. And in fact, before I do that, I'm going to add another delay in. So let's add a delay. Um, now, this I'm going to add this delay because obviously Netflix, Netflix doesn't boot up instantly. So, oh, what should I say? I'm going to go 10 seconds for now. Um, later on I might reduce that if I can get away with it um, but I just want to make sure um, I've left enough time for Netflix to load up and for this step to, to work so following that this is where I'm now going to be going left four times so direction left It'd be good if you could just copy and paste that step, but unfortunately you can't. It makes you do it over and over again. Direction left, and a step. X plus one, command. Direction left. So that's what we're up to. One, two, three, one more. <laughs> Select a device. Xbox One. Command. Direction left. And then the final one, and this should be the last one that will actually load up Netflix properly and get me into the screen where I can select what I want to watch. Is add a step. Xbox One. Command A, and that should be everything I need to do. Okay, now I've saved it, just hit sync. Okay, so changes to your account must be synced to your Harmony Hub. Uh, to sync from the Harmony app, tap on menu, Harmony setup, sync, and sync now. So I'm just going to swap. Uh, Hold on, I can sync from my computer as well. So to sync from your computer, connect the Harmony Hub to your... No, I'm not going to do that. I'll do it from my phone. So I'm going to click OK, and then I'm going to swap to my phone and show you how I do that as well. Okay, so I flipped to the iPhone. So now it's time to just sync my Harmony activity that I've just created. So let's just come out of here. So... Oh, da -da -da -da, Harmony... Setup, where is it? I always struggle in screens like this. So, Harmony Setup, Sync, here we go. So hit Sync, Sync now, and then once this is finished, it should pull through my new Netflix activities. Hopefully this doesn't take too long. Okay, so I've done that, and right at the bottom is my uh, Netflix activity. I've got one here. This is where I tried it before. Not very successful. Uh, but down here, I've got my new Start Netflix activity. So I'm going to give that a try. Uh, I'll film it. Um, I'll, I'll give it a go from this app, and then I'll give it a go uh, doing it from Alexa as well. Okay, so I'm linked up to my Echo Dot now, so I can trigger this Netflix acti activity via Harmony. Uh, and I'll show you that running now. Alexa, ask Harmony start Netflix. Okay.
And there you have it, Netflix all loaded up. Okay, so about 30 minutes later, I'm back. Um, so I just want to show you, I had to make a few tweaks to this. So if I go into this activity, and let's go to edit start sequence. Um, this is what it ended up looking like. One of the problems I had is the Xbox has a tendency to kind of uh, select things um, based on what your last selection was last time you was using it. So I had to um, put in a few steps so I would always know where Netflix is basically. So um, I'll talk you through this. So I'll start off with um, turn on my TV, then turn on my Xbox. Swap my TV to HDMI 2, then I add a delay for 6 seconds, this is just to allow my Xbox to fully load up and to log me in. Then I press Xbox One direction right, I delay 2 seconds, I press the A button on the controller effectively, delay a second, then I have to go left, 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 then direction up, 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 up direction down, delay two seconds, direction right, direction down, direction down, direction down, direction right, direction right, press the A button, and um, this, at this point Netflix is booting up, uh, then I delay 15 seconds to allow that to fully boot up, uh, then I go left, 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 left again, and finally press A, and hey presto, I'm in Netflix. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, me using the Harmony to control my Xbox to start Netflix uh, and controlling it all with Alexa as well. Um, it was, wasn't was as smooth sailing as I was hoping, but I got there in the end, uh, just with a bit of fiddling on, on the controls and kind of working around some of the system quirks of the Xbox One. But once I got that figured out, jobs are good in. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe and let me know what else you'd like to see me do in a video. Cheers.